So we are living in the house now. So far it has been amazing, super exciting, very comfortable. There's always work needing to be done though. So today the house is a little noisy, at least the front of the house. Uh, we don't really mind though, even on a school day, you know, the construction noise is like white noise. People used to help them focus. So I've just been kind of having a crazy couple of days. Um, for one, I'm really trying to get my school done early. I want to finish my year earlier so I have some more free time. And uh, my parents kind of sat me down a couple days ago and had like a really serious talk about, uh, you know, the usual kind of college, no college, what do you want to pursue as a career, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they asked me, what does your life look like in five years? And I realized I couldn't answer that. And I had zero idea. And you know, that really bothered me. And it immediately kind of put me in this headspace of, oh, I'm 16 now. Life's kind of sneaking up on me, whether I realize it or not. And I need to start taking this stuff much more seriously. And you know, I think when you go to public school, which I've never been a day in my life, just homeschool from day one, uh, you know, there's this pressure put on you, starting pretty young to, you know, like think about colleges Think about career options you want to pursue. You know, they talk about that stuff a lot. And for me, this is all just kind of really new. And, you know, I feel pretty overwhelmed, to be honest. But, you know, it was a really good conversation. And my parents are not asking me to, you know, write out this life plan at 16 and know exactly what I want to do right now. But they're asking me to try to figure it out. Think about it. Try new things. Figure out what it is I like. And so I think right now is the time where I'm gonna try to start exploring my options and step out of my comfort zone a little bit and just try to figure out what it is that I like to do and what I wanna do. Okay, so starting now, I am on this journey to explore more and step out of my comfort zone. <laughs> um, baby steps all right. So I think the first thing I need to do for anything else is make the moves necessary to try to get my driver's license. So I completed driver's ed back in April, which means I can pretty much test for my license whenever I want, whenever I feel ready. Um, I think this is gonna be a really significant step in my learning process because I need to call and schedule all these appointments for myself. I need to build my confidence behind the wheel, prepare myself for these tests, and then I really need to start saving up so I can buy myself a car and pay for insurance and gas. You done working out there? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> the face down. Goes on. Being our contractors must be quite the experience. <laughs> okay, these three plastic bins here. That is everything I own. I keep it in here. It's kind of like junk drawers. <laughs> so I've been digging around to find any uh, information I might need. So this is my. Idaho driver's handbook. It basically, it tells me about all the laws and information I'm probably gonna need to memorize to pass the written part of the test. Uh, this notebook was my notes throughout driver's ed. So I pretty much think I have all the information I need to pass the test in here, but it's a lot to study, a lot to remember. I am really trying to find the contact information for my driver's ed teacher. Okay, so in my notebook, I found the contact information for the person I need to call to schedule the driving aspect of the test, the number for the DMV, and the number for my driver's ed instructor. Now, usually you would not need to contact him after completing driver's ed, but your proof that you completed driver's ed is a paper certificate they give you. And mine was destroyed somehow. Definitely didn't lose it. Uh, so I need to print another one. 
and uh, he is a public school teacher. It is only 2 p.m. so I'm gonna have to wait till he is off to call him. But I think I'm gonna call the DMV first just to figure out what it is that I need to have all put together to get this thing going. I'm looking to schedule my written test for my driver's license. How old are you now? 16. And did you take driver's test? Yes, I did. Okay, let me look it up real quick. And what is your name? Nevaeh Souza. And are you in school right now? I'm homeschooled. Thank you. Okay, November 9th, 3 p.m. That is when I will take my written test for my driver's license and I'm all of a sudden nervous. Okay, so now that that is all taken care of, there is a person I was told to call about scheduling the driver's part. Now, I just kinda wanna see how far out it is or pick a date to schedule on that I feel like I would have enough practice by then because Especially with parking and pulling out into traffic. I'm not too comfortable yet. <laughs> How do I not have service in like a whole half of the house? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Hey Melissa, my name is Nevaeh Souza. I was one of Mr. Garrison's Spring Drivers Ed students. I'm looking to uh, see, what, see what you're... Want to see how far out those are and if you have any kind of waiting list so please give me a call back thank you okay so i'm gonna have to wait for that call back i am really excited to just have a date for at least one step in the process november 9th 3 p.m i need to study a ton i studied like a maniac for my permit test 99 percent. i was so close I heard it was uh, a little challenging I heard it was a little difficult for a license test. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna really work hard. November, I already forgot. November 19th, 3 p.m. There it is. Come on, A. So remember how during driver's ed and I was really nervous about my test, I made you study with me for like three days straight and run me through all the practice questions and quiz me for hours on end and I wouldn't let you go until I felt very confident? Yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to have you do that again because my license test is November 9th, which is very soon, and I already feel nervous, and so you are gonna help me pass. Deal? He's down, he's gonna help me. I'm good. I just scheduled to do my written portion of the test and I'm gonna schedule to do my driving portions. If you can tell me a day that would work, thank you. So that is two voicemails left and one appointment made. I'm gonna have to call back or accept their call back another time because me and my brother are gonna be off to youth group and to run some errands in town with our dad. <laughs> 